Yo! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Yes, I am extremely excited. Fred can tell. Come here, buddy. He missed me. We just got back in town. We went to Worlds of Fun, us and the family. Fred, you better be ready to hunt with the new toy, buddy. Yes, by the thumbnail, I'm sure you can see what I got. Um, finally, guys, finally. If you haven't watched my uh, silenced, suppressed 12 gauge hunts, right? Duck hunts, goose hunts, and pigeon hunts. After this video, go back and watch them. And just know that we are gonna be doing more videos like that starting now. Turkey hunting being number one. Might get it done in the morning or by this weekend, pretty much. Pigeon hunting, dove hunting, duck hunting, public duck hunting, all the above. So. Here she is. In all of her glory, this is the JK Armament 195 SGX 12 gauge suppressor, y'all. First of all, big shout out to JK Armament for sending me this bad boy, hooking it up. Actually, big shout out to Cole. Cole Townsend, y'all know my buddy. He got me in contact with Rich, Rich Wilkins. Give Rich a follow, give JK Armament a follow. Uh, and they got me set up with this bad boy. Let's go over some quick details. All right, all right, all right. So this is the uh, suppressor fully put together. Again, in one second, I will go through the, the specs, the lengths that you can reduce this down to, and uh, some other stuff. But this video is an introductory video. One thing I wanna say before we get going here, uh, number one, suppressors shotgun wing shooting that is waterfowl hunting dove hunting pigeon hunting turkey hunting crow hunting any of the above right um no one's really ever done it i would say except for me only like three or four times so far with a suppressor on a 12 gauge so big thumbs up for that y'all please uh if y'all have been here for a while you know that this is something i've wanted uh for not only myself but for you guys and to make amazing content with so so before we get into the specs, guys, drop a comment down below. I'm thinking some patterning videos. I'm thinking some, I'm thinking like some decibel, uh, what should we call it? The old, uh, we'll do the throwback videos. The old Mythbuster videos. They'll be coming back with this baby girl, but some decibel meters. I'll buy a few of them off Amazon and we can, you know, do the difference, you know, with a suppressor without a suppressor so public duck hunting some of the stuff turkey hunting uh you and a buddy like trying to be quiet with how much it might actually help us all um in the long run with wing shooting so that's number one this silencer just hit the market guys uh i'm gonna read right off the box it comes in two pieces you put it together number one it can go from 3.75 inches long to 11.75 and that's what we're at now right under a foot long uh that's the full in all her glory uh and then the diameter 1.95 so not big one thing about this suppressor if you do go back and watch those old suppressor videos that i did uh duck goose pigeon you'll notice that that suppressor is shaped a lot differently which it was like rectangle shape and it was really big i still liked it but this bad boy here, one of the first small round 12 gauge suppressors to ever hit the industry. I'm so excited. Uh, made out of 7075 uh, billet aluminum and it is type three hard anodized. Now, recommended ammunition, bird shot, steel and lead shot approved, buck shot, slugs. We recommend using shot shells with a shot cup style wad. A uh, barrel length restriction. If you do use a full auto 12 gauge with this on it, you need to go minimum 7.5 uh, long because it probably starts getting hot and melting or something. I am not an expert of this bad boy yet, but with Rich's help and all the fellas and gals over at JK Armament, we will be. But I probably said it at the beginning of the video, if you guys are interested in purchasing yourself, a 12 gauge silencer the this one in particular i will link jk armament down at the top of the description go check them out great people great people awesome product so i guess we'll just go through a little bit of it um let's just kind of take her down halfway here so i think with uh, dove hunting this will be pretty sporty i'll be able to reduce uh the length it's really easy actually i can i haven't really done it much but i do know it's fairly easy. Just undo all this stuff real quick. It's pretty straightforward. This is the end tube here, the exit tube, per se. Yeah. 
That bad boy just goes right on on right on there now very versatile quick to change out your links yada yada there she is guys now we're down to half so we're probably at about six inches there so that size i probably don't want to put a full auto 12 gauge under it because she might get hot and have some issues that's why always read the instruction manual on stuff like this which i i know you guys want to hear it shoot today we're not going to do different links today like i said very straightforward video uh, i just want to use it uh how about we'll take a shot or two with it on and then with it off or vice versa awesome uh, i'm so excited lots of pigeon hunting to come guys like i said turkey should get it done this week or weekend make sure she's all tight now before we get going check this out screw this right off the top if you ever just want to take it off so you don't bend it break it off and you just leave that in there oh probably gonna have to oh probably gonna have to have a tool for that let me see okay we got it so what this is this is the attachment that the silencer screws on and then in here nothing new guys this is just your normal choke so that's what they have they've done they've machined they asked me what type of choke do you run and i told them i like a long range choke basically a full right and so they made this cryo plus which fits my sb3 it does not have the diameter on here but it is a custom choke to a full which yes we will pattern this bad boy and we will compare it to the normal choke that i usually use so That'll tell me a lot, you know, where I should be aiming and where I shouldn't be and how this bad boy shoots compared to normal. I know, I'm talking a lot. You guys want to see it in action. Let's do it. Very quick, again, if I ever throw it in the truck, back seat, in a case, I'll always take this off just so I don't have an accident and it bending or something. <laughs> got to throw this in there real quick. Just got off the phone with Rich um, from JK Armament. And Okay, number one. It doesn't matter what shotgun you have. It does not matter. They already make the uh, threaded choke attachment, right? Um, I, I showed you just a minute ago. For pretty much every make and model uh, and manufacturer of shotguns. If you have something special, he said that they will not tell you no. Um, you can send the, your gun to them. They will thread their, your barrel if it needs threaded. So let's say you have a smooth bore shotgun. Um, and you need it threaded because you want to throw the old girl on there They said they will do it. They will not tell anyone. No doesn't matter the brand doesn't matter if they make it already They will get it taken care of number two number two best warranty in the entire nation guys No hassle no hassle So he said if you throw this thing out in front of a semi truck and it gets ran over we will have a brand new one to you within 24 to 48 hours he said it doesn't matter what happens if it breaks if you snap it off if you bend it anything happens you will get it replaced or fixed so awesome folks over at jk armament if you go to the jk armament website uh, there is a link that'll take you to silencer shop that's where you actually purchase the 195 sgx all right i changed my mind changed my mind we're gonna go ahead okay look at that now the whole thing stuck together that's that's all right so now the whole freaking thing watch this i'm gonna do the first shot with my normal choke in boom just for all of us to kind of hear how loud it is on the camera like normal and i'm all i'm only going to use very low brass lead this is seven and a half shot two and three quarter are we ready okay Like I said, we will be doing uh, decibel meters. I think it'd be awesome. It'll give us a huge uh, perspective on what this could provide in the field when you're bird hunting, especially on them public, public marshes, public, public lands in general. Fred, go lay down. He thinks I shot a bird. All right, now, the old girl is on, same shell. The difference to me is I hear more action than anything. It's like, chick, chick, 
do one more for good luck. <laughs> There's zero echo. Here. I guess we'll do it just for kicks. This is a Black Cloud 3 inch number one shot. This is the first time shooting it, guys. So, y'all are here with me. Three inch steel. That was a little more, a little more, a little more. But, extremely quiet, extremely quiet. <laughs> All right, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. All right, I had to go grab some more shells. Now, I do not have the plug in right now. Um, if you're sitting at home right now in your car, lunch break, if you have any ideas crossing your mind, cooking bacon on it, right? That's gonna be pretty hard because I don't have like a drum magazine to go on this bad boy. The tube for pigeons, that'd be pretty kick, you know what. Um, the tube for snow goose hunting, but if you have any summertime ideas, which I have a lot already, drop me a comment down there. Again, I'm gonna keep saying it though, JK Armament, this website to get this bad boy, jkarmament.com will always be linked in this. In every video that I use it with, down below in the description, go check them out. So she's full, I think we can fit four total without having a plug in, but I wanna put the tube on it already. That's sick, dude. That is sick. See how hot she gets. A little smokage. So they use, um, you can run these dry or you can run them wet. What I mean by wet is if you take this bad boy apart real quick, let's just real quickly take a gander inside here. They come packed with petroleum jelly and uh, you can see it looks wet. Um, when you first get them, it's pretty melted and that's where you're getting the steam and the smoke from. Um, I will learn, but I think the petroleum jelly probably makes it a little more dense, probably a little more quiet. And that's something that we'll get into on all these type of myth buster silencer videos is, uh, is it better to run it wet, packed with petroleum jelly, or is it better, you know, who cares? What's the decibel difference? Uh, do we just run her dry and keep her clean? So lots to learn. I mean, honestly, uh, this is an industry first having a suppressor on a 12 gauge for wing shooters like yourself and I that isn't It is unloaded Just for all my Check out how small it is in diameter like my bead Yes, it covers up the bead a little bit. I don't know if y'all can kind of see down the barrel but not by much that other suppressor I used, you know, the last couple of years, which big shout out to Mike. Look how small it is. It's like, it's not big. It doesn't take up a lot of my bead. So I think I'm still going to crush when it comes to accuracy on flying birds. I can't wait. <laughs> so just throwing this out there. No, this will not be the only suppressor that I receive from JK Armament. I'm going to get some other calibers, some rifles, some pistols. But this one in particular, hopefully they can make like a 20 gauge. What about a 410? Four, Semi-auto 410 with an extended tube, silenced pigeon hunt. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put this bad boy through the trials, through the tribulations, through the rain, through the water, through the muck, through the mud, through the snow, through the wind, through, through the blowing dirt, dust, you name it, that's where we're going. Public duck hunting, I know. Public duck hunting for me is one of my most favorite things. Not, not only to provide for myself and my buddies before guide season starts, but with this now, y'all, the teal hunting, everything. I can't wait for the pigeon. I, I got one pigeon hunt coming uh, using this. I have not got to shoot a flying bird with it yet. Crow season is not in season anymore turkeys so turkey should be the first one and then we're going to move forward from there but again let me know any new ideas that you guys want to see me do again the decibels all that we're going to do awesome mythbuster videos with it uh but let me know what hunt you want most let me know down in the comment section because i want to do them for y'all we're going to again big shout out to jk armament for providing this bad boy literally made one of my biggest dreams come true especially uh, for content here on the channel. This is going to be uh, this is going to be groundbreaking for myself. 
Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun and I can't wait to share all of this with y'all. But like I said, JK Armament will always be linked down in the description below, especially on the videos that I'm using the suppressor. So if you're ever interested in this new state-of-the-art, innovative 12 gauge, that's probably rich right there. Yeah, JK Armament's calling me right now. I gotta answer this. If you're interested in one of these puppies, guys, go down in the description, hit the link, and uh, check them out for yourself. But we will be putting them through the test, through the trials, and making sure that they are what they say they are. I trust these folks. They make one heck of an American-made product, and I cannot uh, be any happier to be on board with them. So thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have it. But until next time. I've been getting laid back. Baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism. Pessimism. I've been keeping.